This is annoying to the next one. I'm about to say, that actually is an incredibly that's, annoying mid hero. That's actually a very good pick because you think about the enemy's lineup. They have the crap for the Void and the Troll, two heroes that do physical. Ten and the Nether Ward is a pain in the ass for Sand King and Jakiro because of your high remaining. mana cost. And Sand King, not to mention, you have to be really careful with your happy dagger because you don't want to be your hero. doing Ooh. it in range of the Pugnawa. And Sniper is a very good ho, pick ho, ha, against pushing. Ha. He's very good at defending towers, so Sniper is really good against like, this With kind of a troll warlord. 6.73, here we go. Uh, But Sniper is not the... Uh, that good against Nyx. I mean, I guess most of the heroes are not good against Nyx because you can just get randomly carapace it when you're using yeah, right. your shrapnel. So I guess that's pretty much the only biggest, biggest problem that he's going to have. The rest of the heroes are, are heroes that are not really that great against uh, Sniper. Venal, Keeper of the Light, Bristol, Pogna, they're all not good heroes against Sniper. Well, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be Execration putting a lot of pressure on VP, I feel, with the amount of push they have, all these annoying heroes. They need to shut down the Sniper in the, in the early game. They need to make sure that Sniper does not get a good laning phase. How do they do that? They've got this Coddle who likely is going to be paired with the uh, Bristle. The Knicks, the Knicks, the should, Knicks? Be, the Knicks should be okay. roaming mid because you have a safe lane Venal, which does not really need anything. Like you don't. I think they probably would do Coddle plus VP off lane. Nyx will be doing heavy roam. And then it will be kind of yeah, solo. Yeah, Venom will be kind of like solo. Yeah, 1v1 one, one one bottom against the, the Void. How will the Nyx match up against the, the Sand King? Since Sand King will also be kind of roaming around. Uh, I think it depends on who's at the right place at the right time first. Both are equally useful at the start of the game, I think. Maybe if you talk about, if you compare about trading hits, Nyx probably wins that because you have the higher regen. Yep. But the your the spell wise if you take uh the stun, I think Sen Senking has the better battle. level one stun, but shorter range. So all in all I think it's gonna be about being at the right place at the right time. And talking about their teammates, uh, probably easier for the Sanking sniper to get a kill on the Pogna. And Sanking could theoretically even go to the offlane and help out the like surprise someone like the Veno. If Veno's gonna be solo, he gets ganked by Sanking, he could actually yeah. get picked up. I actually think, look at their lanes, they, they actually, yeah, they're actually doing what I mentioned, the banner's gonna be up there, alone. Cotter bottom. Bristol, bottom. James. The Nyx will be freestyle, free roam, Ooh, do whatever you want. Where, where are VP sending their lanes though? Looks like Pasha may be going bottom with the troll headed to the off lane. Yeah, they want to avoid the Cotter pressure lane, so uh, goodbye, I think. You don't want the troll to have a very bad lane face. To battle. And Void does better in that lane because whenever you get hit by the, the Illuminate, you just jump. Take no damage from that, so that's pretty good lane for him. From VP, they wanna... They are expecting this. Wow, well, they actually have no wards out. Venno. They have no wards out, but they are expecting... They are just reading what XCTM would do this game to win. Yeah. They know the lanes, they're expecting Venno to no be here wards, alone. nothing. The just deal with boots. Nando immediately runs away. He can be chased down though, and with the trees there, it looks like Gosh. they will not chase him. That was a very good read by VP with no wards down anywhere on the la uh, on the map. Apart from that, the that what they place uh, the rune area. Yeah, they realize once Bristle goes bottom and doesn't see the supports. I think Benno was like, "Wait a second, yeah. I might be getting ganked." Good, good move Des there by VP. Despite having an observer ward and them smoking past it. Mid lane, the four positions you mentioned, they need to try and shut down the sniper. Oh, he took mana. I think this is not good though. Not he took mana burn at level one. Not good against these two heroes. Yeah, it doesn't burn that much. I mean, against sniper, it's pretty useless. Against the sand king, it's not great. You use it twice. He Dude, still has a burrow. You use 100 mana and you burn 56 mana. <laughs> the I don't know. I I I personally prefer the. This is like very, Walk very, up and right click kind of thing. very, very debatable which one is better. But yeah. I personally would have gone for the Impale, so I can actually be much more of a better presence because Impale has lesser cooldown as well. Mana burn at that one has a long cooldown, 28 I mean, seconds. He's already almost regened all that mana he lost. We'll see. I personally don't like it. Minus 56 again. He's still gonna. He's still gonna probably have. Yeah, he's one bar now. He's got priority, so yeah. I, I definitely see your reasoning there and. Perhaps he just felt he wasn't going to get a chance to use Impale at all. Oh, alright. But still, I don't think that's a good enough reason. But right now, the, the troll farming well because he's not in the...
Kotal lane initially, so Kotal TP'd all the way top here, in one of their lanes. Yeah. Awesome harass onto Nando, Lil and Solo in the neighborhood. That long range dual breath clips him with a stun, and Venno is going to be brought down by Ramsey's too, so he gets the first blood accreditation. Oh, mid lane, James. James is in trouble. Like the mid superstar from oh, CIS region. Ooh. If the self actually healed him a little bit more, Pugna might have been able to get the kill first. Would have been close. No one had a self as well he could have burned just to get a little bit of heal, so... It's definitely plays no one could have made. Triple Shrapnel was used as well. James will TP back in, so he doesn't have to worry about the Shrapnel on this lane, but has given up a kill in this 1v1. No one off to a fantastic start. And bottom lane, uh, this lane should be... I think it's okay for uh, both both sides. It'll be like a farm lane. Like I'm gonna farm, you're gonna farm. B BB is gonna probably farm a little bit more because of the the cool spray Harris. Yeah. And so far, it has not gone that way. It's gone fairly evenly. But we'll see if that changes at all. Yeah, I mean, I think all in all, it should be like both sides farming and yeah, pretty much not not much kill potential in this lane unless someone makes a big mistake. The uh, the action will be in the mid lane and the top lane. Yep. Those are the two lanes that most of the stuff is going to be going on. No, burn some mana. Doesn't necessarily have a huge impact on the lane through that. Oh, top lane, Ramses. He's going to go down first uh, to the kill. So, a good return kill here by Excursion on, on the troll. So, all their lanes so far are going, still going okay for XCPN right now. Pongla, despite dying, is still keeping up with uh, the sniper in the mid lane. Face, uh, faces Void and BB almost the same CS as well. Same, uh, just a bit high, but he just got a kill on, on the troll. They're gonna switch their lanes. Banner's TPing bottom. He wants to go to the Void's lane, doesn't want to be in there, trialing up there. Yeah, right now... See how things play out for this laning stage as Pasha is getting bullied quite a bit of bottom, but it looks like overall BP's lanes are doing very well with Solo harassing our top. All three calls on the BP side getting some good farm out of this lane. Dyer's top tower is under attack. But still considering everything that happened, I think Execration is still in an okay position right now. BB is uh, still getting good good farm, con considering that he has to move from bottom lane. Moving is usually Radiant not too good scary. about uh, too good for BB. But right now, Lumix is trying to set up a kill here on the sniper. Yeah, they the the uh, scam was used to maybe anticipate this move, but. What well, he doesn't know is that he's sitting on top of yeah. an invis and he avoided I that. Scan. I don't think BP know that he has a invis. They know he has a rune, but they don't know what rune yes. he has. I guess you know there's that chance that it is an invis, but no one with the scan perhaps thinks he's fine here. They're going to go for the kill. Nice two man impale from Lumic. Kimo trying to turn this one around. No one getting fairly low here, but it's James. He's going to be careful. Decrep with the blast. What a time for James to turn and decrep. Shrine is waiting as a prize. Perfect. They'll take out. It, Pugna Ward. James, yeah, I'm about to say, hug that. He missed some of that shrine regen. He didn't actually. Oh, he still has yeah. to go back, I guess. <laughs> probably. He lost. He probably could have got an extra 100, 200 health out of that, but. Maybe with his, his bottle coming out, Lil at top will find a kill on the Bristle, who has rotated lanes. They send Venno bottom. They want this matchup with Venno versus Void. Force it one way or another. Okay, uh, hey, that is not good for them right now. <laughs> Suddenly the game becomes quite hard because BB is like, you don't really want to die in the laning phase. It's the stage where you want to get as much as you can. You want to get to the point where you have your Vanguard. That's that's what you want as BB, in the early laning phase. And you want to have some ancient stacks which they double stack on the, on the bottom area. Not too many stacks here for the BB. They can quickly build those up though if they, they need to, because he's not even ready to farm them just yet. So. Yeah, but the sniper is huge though right now. It is a definite concern. It's the one kill, but 45 CS, 21 denies. That one is off to the races. Right. Oh, 
was a, an assassinate, but the haste rune for James. Gonna go and turn around, look for this kill. The life drain is gonna be almost enough. The assassinate actually helps cancel it. It's bottom lane, Nando gets a kill. The return from Ramses, looking for the Venom. Will not find him. That was a three-man gank from Execration by the looks of things. We not see James get the kill he was looking for, and Solo and no one will shrine themselves back up. Perhaps go for round two. Onto James. James fairly low, needs to be careful. No shrapnel for him. Oh, not enough damage. That will not get the kill. And he won't even fire it. Keep himself home. Need at least one more right click, possibly two. Ramsey's at the bottom, but he get brought down. Kino has been all over the place. Helping mid, helping bottom now. Consecutive kills in that lane to his Nyx Assassin. But the thing is, like, he's not getting the sniper. You know? Sniper is going to be attack. the biggest problem against their lineup. Because they're going to be eventually wanting to group up and push with the BB and the Pugna. BB frontlining, Pugna dropping blast. But against the sniper, it's going to be very difficult to do that. A oh. fat sniper, especially. Sniper, speaking of which, could be getting rotated on here. Nyx in the neighborhood once again. Mm -hmm. Level 3 he's Impale. Pretty tanky, though, with the range drop and the strength yep. threats. It's not an easy kill. He's also hugging that north side, looking oh, for that aiming potato. Oh. Nice. If, he, if he runs up to try and get the... Oh, they have a ward there. I'll take your I was gonna say, if he tries to, you know, be aggressive and steal their loot. Oh. <laughs> Interesting play from Lil. Level 3, That's two points in Sandstorm, going for a more jungling-oriented Sanky uh, build. I think a lot of players have been doing this. Uh, I think I see Zai doing it first, since the change to Sandstorm. Okay. Because you do a lot more damage now. And they reduce the fate delay, so it's weaker at level 1. You and see we've like even seen so many caustic nerfs. We don't really see the caustic at all on support sanking anymore. Uh, sometimes Very you just rarely. get one point for the kill yeah, in the late. Like, the slow. say you're chasing and you need a slow. Seems very situational. Yep, but otherwise, I think the Sandstorm is always really good now because you can just stack and level 1 Sandstorm, you can clear like a 2 stack. Um, and as a Sanking, you want to get to your dagger ASAP, so I think it's the new way to play right now. Key thing for Execration, they really want that next level 6 to start setting up some kills. They've got a great ability to keep these lanes pressured and pushed out. We're seeing that at top vendors just set up camp here. It's yeah, just give some more protection. But they they pre pretty six. much have like two like lane holders, the Venom and the Bristleback are lane holders. They're gonna hold the lane. They're gonna make sure that he has to respond to the lane pressure, and that's when they're not grouped up together. And it's gonna allow the Nyx to do his thing, to pick them off. This Pugnet is just trying to see as he blasts. Maybe gets a creep or two, but Sniper just denies everything. He doesn't last hit with the blast. Very and they rough they have to kill this sniper though from Hobbit and Nyx. Top lane, Pasha, slow, will time walk away. Nyx is still chasing. Good hit and pale. He's gonna chrono. Turns and fights for now, has another time walk and uh, will run away. Okay, sniper. Sniper, yeah, that's gonna be a dead Nando. No way out of it for him. Good rotations from BP, the double TP. Lil is smoked up. Gonna find Chemo here. Will not get the kill and will be scouted by the courier. But at, at the very least, Execration was able to force a rotation. They make the sniper go top, so that's gonna open up the mid lane for Park Nima. Yeah. He's <laughs> doing still a fairly good job at pressuring, and the tower's almost down. Radiance middle tower that is, in fact, his job. If he can do that by himself, that's fantastic. Nyx is looking for level 6 of this top lane, won't quite get it yet, Venom Veno TPing back in, does have that tomb. Radiant oh, he did, they still got the tower, they can't deny. That's good. Mid lane. Yeah, that's nice. good for Xtain. So, right now, what are, are they gonna wait, uh, what are they waiting for? BBS Vanguard, he's pressuring bottom lane. Could be a lot more self-sufficient now, and a lot harder to gank and kill. BP. Yep. They are still building ancient stacks for him, so when he's done pressuring Radiant's his tower, he should go back and clear that. Hey, this is looking good for Execration right now. They have taken two Radiant's towers in succession. Ancient stacks for BB. Radiant's bottom tower is and BP under is trying to respond to defend his tower, Radiant's but they're going to be too late. They try and take a fight. Chronosphere is down, and that is something Execration uh, know after that top lane. The Bristol is still pretty strong right now. <laughs> he's got Chakra behind him as well, so that double kill spray is... Definitely saying to be worried about. 
Not a boot, look at this. There we go. He's got the chakra. Kills once, another one. Coming up almost immediately. It does come up immediately, what we're saying. <laughs> look at this. Radiance top tower. Bristle just zoning them. And the Pugna's got no health, but he's like, Oh, it's fine. My Bristle's zoning them. Who's going to kill me? As long as you can see that sniper and know you're not being assassinated, he could just go life drain some neutrals, which I believe is going to be the plan. Top lane, meanwhile, this is space created for Nando. It's going to take down the top lane. Yep, this is like uh, the heroes, the heroes that XP and drafting working. They are pressuring all the lanes uh, with the Venno and the BB, and eventually you're going to be able to defend only one one lane. You're going to lose one way, uh, a tower. Called it annoying, but at this point, it's just looking straight up dirty. Now this is playing out. Yeah, but still, you know, VP has the much better high ground. Crystal oh, back, running into solo. We'll dodge the Illuminate, but that will not amount to much. The solo will still be taken down. It's the Pugna who gets credited the kill. VP perhaps is going to sit back and farm while they wait for some key items like the Sanky Blink. has caught up really well after the some other towers. They were yeah. behind in the laning phase. Uh, right now, Things are looking much, much better for them. They still haven't cleared the stacks, so once they cleared all the ancient stacks for the BB, it, there's going to be another boost in the economy for them. So Venno is building into a mech, more team items. They, want, they are really going to aim to finish this game at some point. Like, there's going to be a timing push with that use. Mech type and poor solo getting run down again. Yep. Not necessarily the best synergy between the BB and the Pugna, but it doesn't really matter when you're pushing heroes back that far and slowing them. You can finish them off whether it's the physical or the magical, one way or another, you get the kills. And they're going to get a tier 2 tower off of this. Venno going for a fast mech, really suggesting they want a 5 man down, even theoretically break high ground early on. Every item pickup is all about the early game, from the solar crest to the mech. What is Pugna going to get? It's going to be an Aether Lens. Yeah, that's the normal. Like Aether Lens, Ags. Bill, maybe, yeah. but yeah. Ags is very, very huge for the hero, you want to get it, uh, get it before you siege the high ground. Oh, you can use it on the BB, like they, the heal on the BB, that's gonna be... They're siege high ground now. Oh, they're gonna siege high ground. Okay. It's slow siege, that's for sure. They, they just got the mech on, on the... Chakra Pugna, he's got unlimited nether blast, he's not gonna run out of mana to spam this spell. That's actually oh crazy how good this is gonna be. Yeah, not gonna be able to pull this tower. They're gonna go in, they're gonna try to bring down the bristle, he's very, very tanky! Not oh even close! God. The Bristol back. Are they gonna are they just gonna lose Raxia Winter? Uh, what uh, can they do? Troll's not ready to fight. He's, Shrapnel. he's got a mask of madness. Shrapnel. They've got only one shrapnel. Void has the boot. Bristol TP'd out. So they actually they called it off for now. I feel like maybe Execration could have pressed their luck there, but at the same time, I, I, oh, bro. I think they were worried. Yeah, and they, they couldn't see him for a long time, and now they're gonna see him. But it's like it's a bit cold because they didn't, sure. they didn't see him this time. They also know Chrono was used, and they can go Roach out, which is maybe like, well, Safe we could play. risk Rax, but or we could get an Aegis and use Aegis to take Rax. Let's Safe get, play. let's get Aegis onto probably the Bristle, I guess, since he's the one kind of on the high ground a bit. He's not even dying though. I think he might. I think Pugna is the damage. By Solo. Execration showing they are not a team to be underestimated here in Seattle. They've come up with a kind of cheesy push strat here of sorts, but it is putting them in a position to take oh, a game one win. Oh. Away to the north, no chrono for 60 seconds. Execration back off for now. Trying to wait out that shrapnel. No more shrapnel now. Roshan fairly low here. Looks like Execration should get this one though without a fight. No one just showing himself mid saying, yeah, we're not actually going to be able to do much about this. He's still slow, still trying to poke oh, their nose the in. Aegis. Pasha, is he going to go for the steal? No. Oh, but the Radiant got the rush. Oh, oh Pugna's going to lose his Aegis. Oh. That is not good. That is indeed not good. Void, threatening to and go in, will oh, force a Venu as that well. That was actually a free rush for me. <laughs> they got the last hit, they got the Aegis. I mean, Dyer's they killed the Aegis from the, uh, money. from the Pugna. That is that's a, a great outcome actually, for them. Yeah, that's a big, big moment there for BP. That's going to buy them time to get the items. They're going to need, like, the Sniper to get one more item to be able to hold. Like, once he gets the Millstorm plus the Dragon Lance, I think Almost he's, yeah. he's, he's going to be a very problematic hero in the high ground push. As he gets picked off, Nyx alone cannot yeah, kill him. He needs more backup. Kotl, can Kotl? he recall someone? He needs to summon one. He's doing just that. Winter 
He's pulling someone in. There's the initiation. It's going to be Nando and the Venomancer. TP out. Is it going to be late. enough? It's going to be close. They get the kill and bottom lane not that pushed out. They've got 40 seconds on this. See what the call is going to be. They should, they should just go right now. Attack. They should go right now. Let's see what Execration feel about that. They do get the top tier 1 tower on the VP side. Raging Potato perhaps wanting to finish off this Solar Crest. It's got the the pipe queued up. I feel like this oh, Solar Crest... Jakira really has nice. no mana to TP back. This is bad. They, they have only three heroes here. They have only three heroes here. They see that, Jakira. They see probably he doesn't have the mana to do so, and they are looking to pressure. For 12 seconds, they can at least get the tier 4 tower. They will use it for the last. Fortify still on cooldown for a minute. Rex is going to call it. Are they going to get Rex here? Oh my god. They might. Time dilation used, but this is minor inconvenience. This nether blast just does so much damage to buildings. And the range as well from the land. Here they go. They want this Pugna. Can they bring him down? You betcha that troll! Sniper combo! They go ho ho ha ha in their way through. Execrations push. That sniper just shredded little Pugna. As Pasha able to get the initiation for the Chrono. Wants some more here. No ages to worry about there. Raging Potato Bristleback getting fairly low here. Could see another Chakra with a double Quill Spray coming out. There's a lot of damage from those Quills. Raging can't, Potato. They can't kill the VB. Yeah. Like, that, that, that was the problem in the first fight when they initiated on them. And on the other hand, if you, if you look at how Execration uh, chose to attack the high ground, and you compare it to the viewers game, maybe. so how LG the high ground, they only oh, send they, one here. They, they're going again, Winter. Sorry to cut you off, but this is... They respawn, they're like, oh, you used Chrono to kill us with your troll sniper? But they can... I Round think they two. can still defend, though. I'm not sure. Find out. No Chronosphere. One shrapnel charge only. They can't go on the BB. They need to the corner. They're now. trying to burst the Pugna once again. Can they bring down James? It's very close with the Akapire. They do. Pugna goes down. They are forcing this and being punished. BP keeps the Void alive once again. The Assassin coming up, finds the Coddle, the two-man Boris Rick Lil. This no, time he's the initiator. They're not seizing for him, like, perfectly. They need to push the BB up further and not get like too many heroes stun or chrono at the same time. It's tough because like Pugna's the one who has to damage the buildings, but by putting himself near the buildings, he gets initiated. We saw round one with the Chronos here, round two is the Barrow Strike. Uh, they have to back. Oh, what's going on here? Go well, for me. BP seem to know that Execration have overextended. Oh, recall cancelled. Do they look to chase this one? Looks like they think twice. And at this point, it fe really feels like Execration had oh. an edge, but they may have thrown it away by trying to force the high ground a bit too much. And as well, the Wings are losing the Aegis there. That was all very crucial for their lineup. This, this kind of lineup, you only have like a limited time to win the game. I mean, it's, it's kind of cool that they are pulling something out like this, but on the other hand, this kind of lineup does not have much more Normally, maybe a, a Veno Bristle could scale to the late game, but not with these items. You go for a pipe, you go for a mech on these heroes, you're not going to the late game. So, this game, they do not want to see I, drag. They have one more, like, I think they have one more chance to push. And if that fails again, I think they're just gonna fail, lose the game either way. But they have one more chance. Okay. Pipe is up. Um, is under attack. Do you think he should have gone for that Solar Crest? I feel like putting on the Pugna could have really bailed him out when Sniper. Mm. Tried to focus him she, in the she, chrono. She was dying to like all the magic damage. The, the puck, like, sure. he, he died to the borrow damage with the macro pyre plus the maelstrom. So I think getting a pipe will actually help the they, Pugna more. Yeah, they both help. Fair enough. And Pugna has like the thing with his build is like he does not have much like Rain's apart from the talent shrine. he doesn't get it's HP from his much HP from his build. So he's actually still fairly weak. Magic burst. <laughs> Kill some of those enemy ancients now. They are chipping away at this shrine. Doesn't to be something immediately VP defend. They have a few heroes in the neighborhood, including a void with Chronosphere. Deploy some observer wards to protect themselves as Kimo does go walking in. So the banner completes the griefs. This is like all into the bush already. They They've even gone Crimson Guard on Bristle. Yeah. I mean Crimson is really good against the sniper plus the troll. Yep. I, yeah, don't doubt it. It's very much, again, goes back to the fact they're itemizing into things which will not scale into the late game. All their heroes just getting whatever cheap, cost-effective items they can get now to complement the push. 
multiple full stops even being picked up. Not seeing any of like, uh, you think Pugna, he can kind of scale okay in the late game with like the Aghanims type build, but he's gone Veil, he's now going four star. They are ready to try and push and fight. Crimson Guard complete. So this is their, their last, I think this is their, probably their last strong time in Crimson. With whatever the Pugna's gonna finish, the, the four star. The Greaves from the Venom. This is the other. Because they're not going to be able to get to the timing where Koto has axed. This That's too long. Because he, he's already... He can still change his route. He's going for a 4 stuff now. He's, he can still go for the axe route, but it's going to take some time. So yeah, I think this is pretty much their strongest timing right now. If they don't get a Rex soon with these items, they're not going to be able to... Win. It's going to be a level 2 epicenter. Is Sanking is level 12. A lot of... They, they need the like the the Pugna's ward in a good position with uh like BB needs to be sacrificial. He needs to go up and let them if they try to kill him, they try to kill him. He needs to let the enemy focus him. And even if he's in a really bad position, he has to do it. They're setting up, they recall bristle in, another recall in six seconds is gonna bring the Pugna, I can imagine, or perhaps he's just gonna walk on down. Tasha needs to be a little bit careful here. I'm gonna get too close. Ward. They're not even trying to look at them. They're not even trying to maybe like sometimes teams will like make a small play. If you pick off someone, you go straight to the racks after that. But I think they need that Dyer's little bit of finesse. Is under attack. They're probably feeling like you don't have time to go and look for someone. You just need to go go. It's like you think this kind of timing push lineup. You know, every moment you are wasting, it's very very bad for you. Nix goes top, perhaps looking to cancel the Sanking's TP. Oh, they have to go. They have to get out now. He doesn't have recall, not for 15 seconds actually. Has to be careful here. Dude, oh, oh no. Are they in trouble? Oh, looks okay. Doesn't look like anyone's uh, getting caught out. Very much, I think that's one of the... Oh yeah, because the shrine was gone, the Sanking wasn't able oh. to TP to the Benno gonna find the Sanking. Now Benno actually very alone here, but also is more than okay with just... <laughs> Definitely you can see Execration trying to use that recall to push out lanes, maybe cancel a TP home, and then break high ground through. Talked about finesse, that definitely is that little element yeah. of kind of outplay rather than just the brute force approach we've seen so far. And that, that approach has definitely failed. So whether it's a pickoff or a TP cancel, something needs to happen and in Roche, their favor. And Roche is going to spawn. So they're gonna, if they get the pickoff, it's going to be a free Roche for them. Roche was not their friend last time. We'll see if it can be any different this time around. Sentry wards. BP have been very proactive with the detection. It says not being able to find too many kills effectively. Yeah, since just, the just look game. at their sentries. Take a moment and look at their sentries. They have sentries at the entrance into their. They are playing. They are currently playing this area. The side of the map. I'm not sure. So they have sentries in each of their, uh, the possible entrance for the mix. You don't want to have too many sentries coming every area, but you want to have the sentries at the key areas of the map. Find a kill, it was Lil trying to go on a warding mission. But Sniper has BKB now. Not... Has. The controls had hit for his for a while, but... The fact they can just now jump in and initiate with these BKBs... Do you have no saver? So you're gonna be... The four staffs is meant to be the saves at this point. But in the got... corner, you're not going to be able to get out. <laughs> got two of them. Looks like they were building a third on the thing. So many full stuff. The Solar Crest is there, so some evasion will help a smidgen, but the confidence from VP, you can really see it. Pasha on Void has bought a Midas, that doesn't scream confidence to go late game, I don't know what does. They are not threatened by the push of Execration, not showing it. You're going to use that Midas, you need to be that confident. Yeah, see, uh, see Exidian right now, they are really, really cautious about their approach. They know if they give away a bad fight, like a chrono onto two important heroes, the game could just be over at that point. James is the key, key hero right now. He's kind of probably dying in the fight. Hail. Bring it out there, the fire strike does go through, but... It's still a, it's still a bristle back, a fat bristle back. You're not gonna kill it. I think hero you wanna put too much effort into going. Yeah, this, this is what he needs to do. He needs to try and make it look like it's possible for them to kill him and make the enemy team go on him. Well, as a result of that, they do get the T2 tower. They then pull back a little bit and will 
Well, they scout Roche, they don't see it because there's going to be that max Roche respawn. So Roche is up. Um, BP have all their cooldowns. Two BKB is up. They have everything they need to be able to oh, okay. so They're gonna try and sneak it. Will this work, BP? The balls on this team. Will Venom get a play board in the pit? I believe oh. he's going further forward. Oh. He will see him. What now? BP, they're committed. They're going for this one. They really want it. They pop control ulti and everything, and they will secure Aegis and Cheese. I am with you, Parker. Roshan is not XCTN's friend this game. <laughs> Two Roches in a row that kind of go against them. And the Execration knew Roche was up. That was not like a surprise early Roche respawn and VP getting lucky. That was just VP making a calculated risk. Perhaps seeing enough heroes on the map that they knew it was going to be safe. Push strats, getting your Roche taken away. That is a huge well, blow. I think the biggest part about that smoking Roche is they had great vision for it. They had the key ward on the high ground by the Dire Shrine. If they don't have that ward, they don't maybe go for that. But they knew if... Execration were nearby or coming in to contest it, they would have seen it coming. I, it feels like we're going to go late game now. You kind of talked about Execration. Their last timing was maybe being reached. What what can they really do at this point? Can they scale at all, Winter? They can try to scale, but I don't think they're going to win this game. Yeah. In the The odds are stacked against them. I mean... You're gonna reach a point where you're gonna think about it, whether we cho you, you choose to all-in and go now, or try to slow down the game, and even though it's unlikely you win, but you, there's still a chance to rather than all-in all right now. But I, I think I'm leaning more towards the all-in right now. If I lose, I lose now. Yeah. I uh, guess that's kind of the decision they can make. Like, do you all-in now, or do you just play for the late game where maybe you have a 10-20% chance yeah. of, of winning the game? I, I, I believe we have a better chance winning the game now. Well, so I should know, choose to all in. Perhaps right now, in the context of Aegis and Cheese on DP side, you do have to wait though. And oh, no one's going to force a BKB out there trying to get away from this. But currently, kind of a, a wasted BKB. James gets gone on here. He'll decurve himself against Ramses. He's going to BKB go. Nando, the Force has being used incredibly well. They are kiting DP's BKBs and Chrono not the Nick's, used. Nick is behind. Can he set up something big for his team? Once be careful, there's the sentry on the retreat. Nyx walks into it, the impale. Ooh, Kimo doesn't find it. Could have maybe gotten at least a Jakiro kill, but ultimately, I think Execration are going to be pretty happy about that considering two BKBs yeah, reduced. They, they should try to get, uh, I think they, they should be able to get this tower here. Tier 2 at top. Lil yeah. is going to kill some creep waves though, and Tier that is... Tier 2 and a shrine. Well, what, with what creeps is the, perhaps the bigger question as Lil wants to take this out. Oh, he gets earned, but he immediately blinks. Doesn't get the creep wave, his fire strike was on cooldown. Creep wave saved. <laughs> yeah. He had a fire strike in like two seconds and didn't get a chance to use it. So they they piped that creep wave. <laughs> and just like, I'm not letting that caustic kill my creeps. So it should be a tower plus the double can give me down. Are they gonna just try to defend this? I think they may just want to back off execration. They are doing some good damage with the nether blast, but this is still a boost struggle. Back. Still a boost of that. Asha in the side. Uh, the Nether Ward is a good position in this fight. Yep. Can they find it on the VP side? It's perhaps the big question here. Maybe the Ward will find Pasha if he used any spells. That Illuminate I will saw catch him. him. Yep. And the Shrine could just be the Radiance focus here. Top Bottom lane, Troll may just try and solo push for some pieces back. VP will come immediately from Chemo. So this could... Oh, they show face. Oh. They show the Nyx. This is bad. Yep. Crazy Potato. And to run his way out of this one, gets caught by the ice path. There's the Chrono, catches out just one. It looks like Rage of Potato was not even caught inside of that. It's not the Chrono he was looking for. Ramsey's getting low. Great two man impale. The Barrow Strike goes through just to save and his life into the Rosh Bristle, Bristle Boss more like it. He's still alive for now. The full staff's keeping him alive as well. Zero casualties. That and another sustain. BKB use on the sniper, Parker. This is good for XPN. I mean, talk about scaling going late game. A great way of doing that is getting these BKBs down to five seconds. And this bristle back is just. He's, he's doing what he needs to do yeah. in the fights. It's one of those things where you gotta, like, scratch your head and, like, I mean, in hindsight, it's like, man, they should have gone for more late game items. Like, if bristle went for, like, 
more self-carry DPS Go items, he could be radiance. even tankier or scarier. Yeah, but the thing is, if he had gone for like the Radiance build, he would That's be weak. He, he, he would die the there. You yeah, know? he would be weaker at the start. Yeah, his build definitely has led to his survivability, but also his teams. The potato <laughs> is <laughs> not afraid of anything. The madman. <laughs> He's probably one of the most uh, interesting players to watch. Containing, that's for sure. Solo in the trees. He's hoping he stays alive. He has not been scouted. He's right next to that Pugna ward. And yeah, okay, he gets the TP out. That was definitely a tense moment for him. Tier 2 tower, the shrine was already claimed. And Aegis and Cheese expiring. There goes the Aegis. And where oh, sorry, Cheese, of course. Where is the Silver Age? There is the Silver Age coming. Yeah, troll. Wait, was the cheese actually used? Oh, okay, no cheese for VP. Oh, so, so they used the cheese on top of the BKB charge? See the cheese? Yeah, troll had cheese. Yeah, before. he must have used it in the fire. Probably, you know, one of those things that like happen in the fire, you don't catch everything. Click on the void, dude. Void's got the cheese. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Look, look at his quick buy. Wants a ghost scepter. <laughs> I don't think he does want a ghost scepter, to be honest. <laughs> I, I love when players troll casters like this, good thing. They know, like, you know, there's going to be that caster who's like, Oh, the, the Void's going for a Ghost Scepter next. What do you make of that, Winter? <laughs> In my professional opinion, it's uh, not the, the most viable pickup for this game. <laughs> what do you think about eight Ghost Scepters, though? Uh, fuck you. <laughs> it's going to be a fun four days. I hope you're looking forward to it. <laughs> uh... Execration, uh, I mean, they're still not going oh, all in on like it. Oh, Lumik, he finds still. Wait, oh. blink after. He has a gem, by the way. Top lane, Nando. Oh, he needs to get out of here soon. <gasps> Magic Hunter. If you get Chrono, you can still be recalled out of the Chrono if he has near you, right? Uh, you I should be able to. I don't know. <laughs> It's like you get you don't take damage. Yeah, actually, you should be because you. Yeah, you don't take damage. Yeah, don't right? take damage. That would be cool if you chronoed him, caught him, but he still got pulled out. Yeah, I, I actually think he would be pulled out. We've seen that before, but almost. That's for me. I mean, I see that they're they're not going to stand on the chance going to take him, but. All seems still well right now for SCP. They're still going for the more non like game items like Lotus Orb and Bristle. Uh, Veno is going back for the Ags, which is not like the right click oh damage build. He's like 400 off. Yeah. They, they probably should wait for it. And that Ags is against mm. the shorter BKBs. That Ags, Veno is going to be very, very powerful. I'm a big fan of the Ags. I think like if you're talking about being strong right now, getting a Halbert could be a good option against the Sniper and the Troll. Talk about strong, this crystal back will show you a thing or two. Silver Edge! Oh, no! Oh, oh. Crystal back! He was not oh, ready for that one. He gets kept alive for a little bit longer. He's still standing in the macro pie. There's the epicent raging potato. He's still alive for now, but he'll oh, be brought down. Silver Edge. Was not expecting the Silver Edge. Perhaps nine that was not scouted out. And Ramses finds a solution for the bristle. What they've been needing. Oh, that that happens to me a lot as well when I play Bristol back. I think I'm I'm cool. I think I'm strong. I, I, I never know about some silver edge hiding somewhere, and then I just die. Nah, you're not cool. Either. You're a giant loser. They're gonna need like Halbert though. I think Halbert's gonna be a good item against the troll and the sniper. Yeah. And that's why I'm not a. Uh, too much of a big fan of the banner going to Ag. So I, I think where? the the Halberd is like a in between item. You know? It gives you some some like late game and it's pretty strong right now. Thank you. Go on to the banner. Not get popped. Brought down. Hemo in the neighborhood will not be able to do a whole lot, and this is VP's time to press forward. It feels like this is the first time all game we see VP pushing on the other side of the map. They have multiple heroes picked off, the Venno down, he didn't quite finish his Aghanim Scepter, but also they probably saw the pieces in his stash and realized, hey, he actually won't have buyback. They can get some serious damage done here as they take a tier 2 tower, and they're going to probably swing bottom and go for another tier 2 tower. DD rune there waiting for them. I don't know, man, but I think that the game is 
getting progressively harder for like CTA. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of the, the story we felt with the draft. If you don't end that game fast, those, once those pushes failed, their ability to go late the game is very limited compared to their opponents. Yeah, I, mean, I think the only thing you can bottom tower really count on for CTN is like what you said just now. You hope the BKB, you, you draw the game long enough for the BKB to be 5 seconds. And then your Venor, your Nyx, your, even the Cosmic, like all their heroes are really good against uh, the, the Troll and the Sniper when they don't have their BKB up. You just kite them around with your Mana Lake, your stun. Uh -oh. Solo. Scouts Roche, but... <laughs> he dies here again. Remember the, the other time he died? Oh, does he die, Winter? Oh, no. Pasha comes up. There's no ice path just yet to fall off. There will be in a second, and the damage from that Epi Center will bring down the Nyx. He loses the gem in the process. The break on Bristle this time will not get him killed. He was just a bait after all. <laughs> kind of. I don't know if that was the plan, but it, it worked out that way. They got the gem, you know? Like, yeah. Nyx dropped his gem. A, quite a bit of a gold swing. I don't think the Radiant team had a gem before that. Saves them 900 gold since they were likely going to have to invest in a gem against this Nyx anyway. I mean, you could see it on another angle. They use BKB charges for that. Okay. Eventually, you're going to get to 5 seconds yep. BKB. Sniper's about to be there. Troll is... Oh, yeah, they're both about to be there. One BKB use away. Oh, Raging Potato. Silver Edge upcoming. <gasps> okay. Venom. Actually, Fine. Fine. Lotus all they defuse each other. Where's Lose. his team? Where's his team? Okay, no. Never mind. No team coming to save. Oh, the four stuff is not going to save his life. That blinding light. That may be enough. Nope, not with a burst strike. Uh, Bristle uh, back. Another four stuff. He's being kept alive for uh, now. Barely brought down. The Lotus Orb is going to return. Where, that where was his team? He was there for like ten seconds. I swear he was. Like no one came and helped him. TP's on cooldown, slash not having them, I guess. Venos is up now, I don't know about it at the time. Okay, Pokemon had no TP. Like, if they were actually there earlier, that fight could have been a lot different. It could have also been a lot different if Troll got the break off, though. You gotta imagine he would have died a whole lot faster. That Sanking is melting here. The Glimmer Cape helping a little bit against that magic damage and Nando. To get himself out of there. Yeah, you don't mess with whole haha -ha when he's on the high ground. Roche back up, 30 seconds until Bristle. This is something that Execration, perhaps third time's the charm with the Roche pit. So they have Aghanims and Venom's building into the dagger. Sean is coming up. Okay, if they win, let's say they win this team fight, they get Roche. They should still have a chance. Yeah, they're gonna have a chance. They need to win this fight. Yeah. Venom gets his level 20 talent. If, if the Roshan is gonna be acquired by VP, I think the game pretty much will be over there. This should be the last out. thing. They are all TPing around the area. They want to fight it. Okay, so they need to send the people back in. Solo has a gem. Drops a sentry. Chemo. going to throw spells. He's so, it's like, fool me once. How, how are they going to fight this? They're going to send the people back in. He can't tank because of the steel edge. Yep. But they don't have much time to try so it. has to be the first one. Okay, they do see Ramsey's with this sentry. They need to force up and he gets great. Oh, they he misses the impale. Looking for the troll. Pasha gets the chrono and catches a three. Great chrono to you. The bristleback is being focused. He is fairly tanky. He is not. Got the break on top of him. Venom in the back lines gets everyone with the ultimate. Okay. That's going to do a lot of damage over time. It's Aghanim's ulti. So. BKB is down. They're going to catch out no one on the sniper. Does he get buyback? Yes, he does. Could come back to the fight. If he goes down, he will die here. Buyback not being used just yet. They may forfeit the Roche here just to cut their losses to the north. It is solo, very low. Nando gonna chase him down. We'll focus off. It's elsewhere. To the south, it's Lil. Caught out by the Knicks. They don't have detection for him, but they still manage to get him with the stun. He is being chased down, and Lil will lose his life okay. on the Sand King. Nando is expected, took oh, out his hero. His Aghanims actually just won them the fight. Yep. Hands he up. Is chilling. He can be a cool guy too. They say forget Roche, let's get Rax. For some buyback, Sniper does have his, and we'll use it the outcome of this. Will Execration press forward? There's still no Sanky on Shakira. They're going to range racks. No oh, Void goes up. He's got an Acceptor. He's actually got the short cooldown. Takes out the Plague Ward to start things off. Another buyback coming in from Sanky. Chemo dead at the bottom lane. Oh, what a force up. RR keeps himself alive. Does still end up getting chased down and brought down. 
by the Void. James is trying to heal himself back up. Will not be successful. And BP punish execration. Over zealous push. They are going to be not happy. They didn't just go for something like Why? Roshan. Well, they actually did not. They did not go for the safe play. I mean, in high. Hindsight, <laughs> I don't know. Still, still, it was it was a dangerous play though because we yeah. pick, unless they we, unless they find a way to push, force the buyback and run. I felt like they me, maybe didn't me, even me. realize Void had yeah, there. Yeah, I think they didn't realize Void had X. That's yeah. why they made it. I mean, that, that actually, I I had noticed it until he got the chrono. I was like, what? Got the chrono already, but. Nando with ultimate once to go. He's gonna full stuff out of there. We'll do some good damage. Goes for the TP. Anything to cancel this one? No. Great play from him. We'll get him low. This may work to save Roshan a little bit, but we'll have to wait and see. They're gonna BKB just to get rid of some of this damage. Oh, the Kotho. Sniper does not have BKB now. This is incredibly oh. dangerous. Ramsey's does. I don't think no one actually anticipated this. He's gotta get the Aegis. He gets blinding light. Nando wants oh. it. Nando gets it. Oh no! No one, he needs to maybe force out. He's got a great Kronos to back him up. He's just going to fight his way out of this one. He now full stuffs out. Respawn coming out of the Aegis. Roshan, Roshan, Roshan. Just not Execration's friend this game. The Cheese onto the Venno. Going to keep himself alive a bit more now. Void is getting low here. Needs a time walk out. He's got it in a second, but not from the Mana Burn. And they get the kill. Sniper is going to just run the hell away. DKD coming up soon, but... Ooh, boy, that was some blinding light at the end there from the Coddle. They get the last hit on They got Aegis and Cheese. Oh, they got the last hit on Roche. And Venno. They actually got the last hit. Okay. Oh, everything. They got everything. They're going to push forward, boy. So they should pass the Cheese to... They used the Cheese. Oh, Nando used had to use it to stay alive. Two... Oh, no, game, game one just still here. We've seen some very tense games here as... And uh, we'll look. they'll look to push though. Void has buyback with Chrono. This is such a dangerous play to make. I I feel like we've seen this before with Execration. We'll see if the conclusion is going to be any different. Link into the mana burn. Void just trying to hold on to his buyback for the time being. There's the break, but no follow-up damage. Doesn't want to commit to this one just yet. Potato is starting to get low. He needs to be careful. Burrowed forward because of the Lotus Orb. Oh, hold his ground for now. He's getting wailed upon by the troll. He's got no backup. The four stops away. James, he gets brought down by the Assassinate. No one in the front lines is actually going to go down as well. 100 seconds dead, but the fight has been won for now by VP. Lumic, Chemo, can he bring down Lil? It's going to be close to the battle of the four position. <laughs> <laughs> Lil, Woo, he barely wins it for now, but the poison damage is ticking. It looks like he will be able to outreach on it. To the south side, the Chrono comes back up. Void gonna look bring down the Venom and Lil did end up dying to the Venom. <laughs> okay. The Venom void is the Oh my god, what a <laughs> <laughs> That was so uh, in the end it was a uh, like lol fight right there if I was thinking it was fight. The use buybacks? I didn't think no, so. No buybacks. Five for five? So they, they just they just won the fight? Yeah, five I mean five for four talking about five five for two. Um they just straight win the fight, sniper does Buy back after his uh, die after his buyback, but still ultimately a successful outcome for VP. They hold their base, just losing a tier three tower. Still yeah. feels like anyone's game. Yeah, not the biggest deal. Dyer's top tower has no, the rain the range tracks went down earlier. Oh, okay, at yeah. Bottom. But yeah, 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 I mean it's, it's like location. you say, whether different occasions. Yeah. Not uh, not a big deal or something that amounts to a whole lot. This game getting very crazy here yeah, in the late the, game. Yeah, but the Pugna is actually doing a lot in the fights. He is actually Jeez. saving the BB. When he gets break in the corner, the crap, then there's the 4 star. They are doing a very good job keeping the BB alive. You know, basically when they break the BB, you just need to 4 star, make sure that he gets out of harm's way, and wait out the break duration, and then the bishop back and fight you. Yeah, except your Pugna means you've got that constant uptime. Yeah, this Pugna is actually going to be... The prime target that BP has to focus in the fights, they need to take this guy out. Yep. In the context of like the five second BKBs, we talked a lot about the Venno having the Ags with the ultimate, but it's also this Pugna with Ags life drain against five second BKBs. This hero is a major threat to worry about. As we will to see. 
He almost lived that fight. If he managed yeah. to life drain a bit more, the Assassinate didn't finish him off. Or alternatively, he had his Lincolns up when the Assassinate came in. He could have actually survived this, his way through this it. This is going to be big. Benno has 25, and he's going to have his Shivas. This is going to be big for, for Excretion. The other really annoying thing with these 5 second BKBs is Coddle. Blinding Light. They don't have MKBs. If they don't have BKB up, they get hit by Blinding Light. Good luck doing any right click damage. <laughs> there are so many heroes they need to kill, yeah? Yeah. We need to kill the Pugna, then the <laughs> If you go all in on the Pugna, then Venno Bristle with Blinding Light make just beat you. That's actually one of the things where these late game team fights really can hurt BP. I feel like Sniper is going to pick up a Scotty. I almost feel like the MKB may have been a better option here. Perhaps more for the Troll, because Troll's more of the frontliner, but... They find the, co the uh, Coddle in the I trees. Mean, they, they should still have uh, quite a formidable late game with those boys. Like you think you think it about should, the, yes. the lineup. So based on lineup, you should be feeling good. But based on the game, what's happening right now, <laughs> you're actually not feeling that good if you're yeah. They are starting to pull further and further ahead based on gold, but we are at that point where it's like a gold lead isn't the, what you kind of look at when there, you're there were in just this situation. Too many opportunity game where BP, like too many situations that BP felt like they could have lost the Rex, you know. So even with their lineup, I think that they're still going to be really cautious here. The Silver Edge in. Bristleback has been found. Oh, he doesn't get this to break off. He does have a defusal. I think this is going to be close. The pipe is there, as is the Lotus of the four stuff number one being used. There's the Chrono catches two now as a result of Venno showing up. Can they break the Bristle? The Ice Path perhaps a bit early. The Epicenter Forest Strike right, goes on through two. Oh, the, the Bristle, Bristle is still freaking alive, Winter. How does he do this? Oh my gosh, the Pugna healing him up, the double quill spray is coming out, Raging Potato is a raging prickly man right now as he stays alive, kills three, zero buybacks Winter, what is going on? VP, what looked like a turnaround for them, they were playing into the late game with the superior late game draft, and their undoing they went on a bristleback. is the bristleback. <laughs> yeah, they, went on bristleback. they went on a bristleback with uh, the break not available. Oh, buyback, where's buyback? Uh, okay, this is bad. They're recalling them in. What's this play? Coddle! He's on the high ground, he's found Sniper! Has gonna be KB. Oh, he's... <laughs> he just forced the BKB, just kind like of that. Just like to that. in some <laughs> ways. <laughs> it is a short cooldown on the BKB with it being five, the five second one. He's got it in 30 seconds at least. That's the good news. Oh, look at this Pogna. Oh my god, this Pogna. What? A hero. Mr. Punk. Troll will buy back, but I don't think that's enough to save the Rax here. Sankin gets his buyback back up though. It just came off cooldown. Void, no buyback. Oh, they've got the Venom ultimate. This is gonna do some significant damage. Poison Nova ticking them down. They'll hit the troll as well. Sniper is just gonna sit in the fountain for a little bit, throw an ultimate, and they'll see two lanes of Rax go down. This is still not a lost game for VP by any means with their draft, but. This really puts them on the back foot. These level 25 Venno Wards. <laughs> they're not level 4 Venno Wards, they're now level 25 ones. Venno really starts to look scary in this late game. He gets tankier with a Shiva's Guard pickup now. Shiva's AC, they have Shiva's AC, Crimson, Solar, Pipe. Like all the team items. Uh, it's one of those it's one of those beautiful games of Dota where like you you know, every, every player, analyst out there, whatever, of any level, you know, you have this understanding, you think you know Dota. You see a draft like this and you're like, if this game gets to 50 minutes and you were told that Execration win their first big team fight at 50 minutes and take their first racks, you wouldn't believe that, you know? You'd be like, how does this team win the late game? But we're seeing it here and we're seeing how they just kite around these BKBs so well. The four stops have really been the MVP, I feel, in this game. They have yeah. saved their lives so many times. And I don't put the eggs on the table. Yeah. Four four stops. This item has proven to be incredible. Four stops are like the best items for yeah. kiting and most of the Filipino teams, if you look at the the players, they always get they like to get four stops. Yeah. It's one of those items which is kind of like OP for its price range as far as what it does, but it's like everyone can buy it, you know? It's like TP Dude, scroll is OP, you know? Remember for stuff used to be the attack speed. Yeah, the crazy old, the, the quarter stuff, four stuff was insane. Where carries would be buying four stuff. I mean, I guess now carries by uh, Hurricane Pike. Find a Jakiro, they not commit to this one. Here come Execration. They don't have 
They just, rush. Need, they just need to wait for Roche. Yeah. They don't have to rush right now because they can still lose the game. They need they need to understand that they can still lose the game. They should not be too cocky and oh we got two side of Rex. Have buyback, secure Roshan. They don't have buybacks on all their heroes. Bristle does not. Bristle does not have buyback. Break. Oh, they perhaps gone on him. This could be oh, bad, but they did the not get the break. Ball. They did not get the break. Once again, we see the, the break timing just slightly missed by VP. He'll be healed back up. Trying to secure that Roshan. VP will perhaps just play the high ground defending game. How long can they do that? You know, at some point they're still gonna have to. Try and get out, take a fight. Yep. At some point, if you don't do that, you're against Megas because Venno will chip at your buildings with wards, Hug will chip yeah, with Nether Blast. Oh my god, Otto with Axe right now, daytime. Oof. This cannot get better for XTPF. Oh, pretty much all the push items are there already for them. All the aura items AC, Shiva, Pipe, Tombs and Dark. Kato so. gonna get this level 18, so we get that level 3 blinding light, 12 second cooldown. The what, six second duration? Second duration. Nice little upgrade for him in these team fights. Still no solution to the blinding light, and I mean, there's too many things you need a solution for this game, is the big problem. I think they just need to not overcompete for the push the back. All the fights they, they lost previously, because they tried to kill the people. They, they And they were trying to kill the BB. He actually gonna go and contest this one. It just doesn't look possible. Too many plague wards in the neighborhood. Sufficient stacked against them. With it being nighttime, and Roche will be playing Aegis on Nando's Pugna. Oh, sorry, on Nando's Venomancer. Cheese on the Pugna for James. Silver is thanking. Man, Silver is thanking. Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, I mean. They need more than one. Yeah. He is level 25. They're, we're seeing a lot of these level 25s that maybe you don't typically see. Find some of those. Oh, there we go. Bristle not quite there, nor is the Nyx. Oh, got 200 Nether Blast damage. This is the sieging tool. This is the best. The life drain heal is not bad for your Bristle getting gone on, but as far as ending the game, you need to be able to yeah. kill those buildings. Think about winning the game, Parker. Don't think about the fun one. I mean, you, you, they won the game off <laughs> saving their Bristle back, you know? <laughs> Crota, whoa, that oh. initiation range with a blink time walk. He gets the back lines. Look at the first James. He does not get the cheese off. Does have a buyback. He's going to do it. Where's the recall? Oh, Ara, pull your buddy in. You've got a recall. And though he's used the boots of travel, he's going to come back in that way. Bristle's getting very low as well. He's still alive. Where's the puck? Now he's too late. Perhaps the recall needed to be used there. Buyback from the Bristle as well. There is a recall this time. Execration want to end this game. Sand King does not have buyback, nor does Jakiro Sniper. The next target they want to go, and he's going to have to buy back. Does so immediately upon death. Can they defend five man Execration alive? And they're all just TPing back in one by one. Oh, they've gone again. He bought Refresher. Oh, can he find the initiation he needs? We saw it before. The Blink Chrono could come out. Sniper's going to go up big. Where's the ultimate? There's the troll with the ultimate as well. It does hit decently, but there's just no damage. Oh, the Sniper's yeah. too far back. He BKBs and the racks will fall. Execration. They've got Mega Creeps. They've got the game, Pucker. They've what got the game. An unexpected turn of events here in the late game. The draft that looked to be kind of that cheesy early game push. It was not an all, I mean, it was kind of all in, but at the same time, they showed a way to maneuver and play the late game as well. BP will hold out. Still two heroes dead. I imagine Execration just want to end this one as soon as possible. They'll throw away the Aegis for a Venom Ultimate. This will keep <laughs> Sniper in the Venom. fountain. He bought, he bought Refresher. Oh. <laughs> well, he's got another one. Will he throw it? There's the, the four stuff. He could look to go back in and catch them all. The Carapace is going to catch the Sniper. This looks like the end. The BKB, he wants this Coddle, but there's the Decrep once again, saving their lives. And the Throne will be focused down. VP thwarted here in game number one. Winter gives a round of applause to his SEA brethren who show some incredible resilience here. They're